Well, there was nothing else to do. <clears throat> I read them my story. I read his Roderick. Of the tale of the knight who rode through the deep, deep forest. Beyond hills, he rode. Until at last, beyond hope, he came across a chapel, it seemed to him, high in the hills, built of white stone, sharp and angular. And outside, there was written in letters carved in the bone or stone on the chapel, for luck, pray here, but leave your weapons without, for the bell will ring if you need them. And the night, he went into the chapel, and the chapel was all arranged, with pews as sharp as teeth, and an altar that was built upon a great crest of the stonework that must have been riven by time and roots to look like a tongue and the knight sat and prayed at the altar and beyond the altar he seemed to see a great window dark like a pit but it was dark outside but there was a redness in the window and he thought it was some depiction of suffering and he prayed for his soul he prayed for deliverance he prayed to see the truth and as he prayed he felt it a heat rising upon a heat upon a heat he felt the palpable presence all of a sudden it was as if a creature woke up the tongue moved lashing to grab him the chapel started collapsing as if it was as if it was jaws a bell sounded bright he spun out of the chapel meaning to grab his sword meaning to strike the creature that was waking down a bell sounded bright and somewhere as I got to that point somewhere in the house there was a muffled like a bell and all of a sudden 